Does the mood in this place go like this at the moment, like a roller coaster? It feels like it must do. Yeah, it does, yeah. It's felt like that for the last four years. Um, yeah, we we have ups and downs. We try and keep it as, as level as we can, obviously. Um, but I think at this stage of the season now, um, if we lose, we're going down. <laughs> uh, if we win, we've got a chance. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just taking it game by game like we have to. <clears throat> and um, obviously we're on a bit of a high uh, from, a, from a great performance and, and a good three points on Saturday. It's really weird you say that, because that's how it feels like we're reacting outside. Yeah. It's interesting that you guys are almost having the same feeling, like, oh, oh, and kind of riding. Yeah, of course, yeah. And, uh, and you've got to try and stay away from it as much as you can, but you know we're all human and we're, we have those feelings in and around football. And um, I think the biggest thing is not getting carried away. Um, you know, either way, whether it's a good a good feeling or a bad one, we've got to try and keep it as level as we can and make sure that we're prepared and we're ready for the next the next challenge ahead, which comes, you know, another one comes on Saturday. So what went so right at Stevenage? Um, I think we, uh, we we set up and we started the game on, on the front foot and I think when we've put in good performances, um, you know, predominantly away from home recently, uh, we've been... We've been really aggressive, we've, we've been front foot, we've been putting the ball in behind when we have to, filling the pitch up and, and really making it hard for teams to come and attack us. And, and you know, teams aren't getting many chances against us and I think that's because of how we're going forward and we're attacking. At home it's been it's been a lot different for us and, and putting your finger on that is, is difficult, which is probably, probably the next question. But um, yeah, we're, we're working on it and obviously we've been doing the same as we've been doing um, this week as we did last week and saying, look, let's go take the same performance that we're putting in away from home and, and bring it here at Middle Lane. Because the way you're describing playing... That sounds like the way, the stereotypical way you talk about a club playing at home, feeling the need to get on the front foot, get in people's yeah. spaces, constrict the space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think at home we found it a bit difficult the last couple of games, especially because teams have have not sat off us, but I think they've almost you know reverted into a shape and, and made it difficult for us to break down. And we haven't quite find the answers really to unlock those those difficult times in games. So um, we've got to shift the ball as quick as we can and, and just play high, aggressive, high tempo football, which we've been doing away get the crowd up, get them going, um, because we're not going to win games by being all nice and calm and relaxed on the ball. We've got to go full full 100% between now and the end of the season. It's interesting you mention the crowd, because I do wonder whether teams are coming here and thinking, do you know what, if we can just contain them for 40 minutes, the crowd will get antsy and then everyone gets nervous and then we can go after them. And that's why they're maybe sitting sitting that way. Is it important for yeah. the crowd to be patient with you a little bit sometimes? Oh, we've we've been asking for a lot of patience. <laughs> I think they're they're a bit all out of patience, and I can totally understand that. Um, but yeah, I, I think you're right with the comments that you know, if I was an outsider and, and bringing my team here, I would say frustrate, um, you know, get them anxious, and then try and dominate towards the end of the game. That's how I'd look at a team coming here. So, um, yeah, we, we we have to start the game brightly and lively, and get the crowd with us, and give them a reason to to really get behind us. We're showing that at times, but but nowhere near enough uh, and we haven't throughout the season but I think even the even the crowd now are, are, are at the stage where it's all or nothing and, and I think the feeling that and the, and the, the response and especially the you know the, the people that are coming and traveling and paying the money to watch us away from home um, are really giving us that support and we, and we you know we honestly really you know appreciate that and we want, we want to get more and more and try and give back. As a senior player how much responsibility are you taking in the dressing room about shaping the attitude when the team goes out? Um, yeah, I think we've got quite a few experienced boys in there now. Um, but even the younger lads, it, you know, everybody's um, is really kind of getting involved and making sure we keep the mentality right and and we realise um, what an important, important uh, month this is now uh, for everybody's careers now and the football club's um, future. Um, not just for ourselves, not just for the, the people that come and watch us, but everybody that's working at the ground as well. It's a, it's a massive a massive deal. You try and harness that without putting too much pressure on each other and I think we've we have done times this week where we've kind of light lightened the mood a little bit and tried to relax people um try and loosen it up enjoy training um when it when it's right to and make sure we're working when we need to and, and I think we're getting that balance right and and again I think that is showing in, in the performances and that was what Neil Adley said he'd tried to do in the build up the Stevenage game and mm. took you all out for that walk relax there was yeah. there was talk I think in the last press conference about Everyone trying to relax in training about shooting and just kind of calm it down so no one's yeah. snatching at things. It yeah. sounds like that's that's almost the key now. Yeah, I think that has to be because the the amount of tension and the um, 
the nervousness that's that's been around the squad throughout the season has been noticeable with the performances on the pitch and and then that translates into into the stands as well so we we've got to try and make it as calm as we can it's it's difficult because it is a very it's a very um tense part of the season but um we've still got to go into games enjoying it and enjoying being being professional footballers and i think when you get that and you get that freedom you you tend to play better anyway because the fact is, and I'll speak personally, I can't speak for anyone else, but I'd written you off four or five weeks ago, and, and now you're level. There's two, two from three. There's no reason why you can't be the club that finishes out of that bottom two. Is they're now looking at the table? Absolutely no reason. Yeah, of course, yeah. We've had that belief um, you know, through, throughout the difficult times and still have, have, have always maintained that 100% belief that we can go and stay in the division and, and do what's needed uh, between now and the end of the season. You know, if, you know, if we lose on Saturday, we're we're dead certain to go down again, and we'll, and we'll be written off, I'm sure. Um, but with that, I think um, we, like I said before, we have to just keep that that level mind and keep the belief and keep doing what we feel is going to keep us in in the league, and that's the way that we played played on Saturday. Just specifically looking at Saturday, mid-table team coming, very little to play for. Does that is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I I wouldn't imagine it makes a difference. Kiko, you know, he's he's gonna have those boys um, ready for a battle. I'm sure um, they're quite a direct side and and high tempo and, and high energy, aggressive. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less, and we we won't be um, we won't be relaxing and and thinking that it could be an easy game because as you you see throughout the season, everybody beats everybody. There's no there's no easy games and there's no there's no real form table that kind of goes out the window throughout the season anyway. So um, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll approach the game. Um, expecting a very tough test. That was great, thank you. So, does it ever get exhausting this lose, you're out of it, win, you stay up kind of thing? Does, did you get exhausted about it at all? Um, mentally, mentally, I think this season, especially, if I'm off, I can I can speak for myself personally, has been the most mentally draining season I've ever been involved in football. It's been it's been really tough. Uh, and if I'm honest, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it to end. You know, I'm, I'm ready to get the result that we want come the end of the season. Relax on that a little bit, and then take a take a good break for a month because it's it it has been tough. Um, I'm not pulling the violins out because I I know what real jobs are like as well. So, um, so but you know, it's it's been frustrating. I think that's been the main thing, and and we've got to try and. Um, you know, make it finish on as as much of a high as possible. Uh, do what's required on the pitch to make sure we stay in this division. I think I spoke to you after the Forest Green game. I think you said that I think the line you used was that the players almost felt like they'd forgotten how to celebrate a win. <laughs> so what was it like at half time on Saturday in the dressing room? Um, it didn't feel like a win. We were more than aware that we've uh, we've been up in games and and things have happened and we've ended up getting pegged back. So. Um, there was an there was an air of confidence, obviously, because of the performance, and we knew that we could do enough to to finish the game. But there was no celebrations at all, and I think slowly we're we're really figuring out what kind of team we are, and 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 especially on a, on our good days, what we're good at. I think we're we're figuring that out a little bit more now, um, and we're being more effective and more efficient in what we're doing rather than just playing games. We're actually hurting teams, and we're. And we're creating chances. Um, sticking them away has been a, an issue, especially at home, um, but one that we're, we're looking to address. Uh, Keith Curl said in the week that he's looking, that his players are looking forward to coming here. Another big crowd, big atmosphere for them. Is that something that you think has a big impact? I mean, teams coming here and stepping up their game just because there's so many people at Meadowlane? Um, I'm not sure. You'd have to prob- probably ask, ask those teams. Um, I don't think anybody has come here. Um, and played a lot different than the, than what they will do at other other grounds. I think it's been us, you know, not doing what what we're supposed to do to get results, which is you know have, has caused us problems here. So I think it's been more been more to do with us rather than opposition changing the way they play. Um, we've got to, like I said before, really affect games um, with what we're doing well at the minute, and that's the high tempo, the energy running forward, playing forward at every opportunity and really putting teams on the back foot. And I think if we do that, any team that comes here will struggle.